Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. With these two defenses on the field, this game might not fit the modern definition of flashy. Unless your definition of flashy is some guy flying in to light somebody up. Hits will be delivered often, and they will be delivered with authority in this game. Which offense can manage that best might determine who comes out on top. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. of the Olentangy River. We've got one of the biggest crowds you'll find in all of college football. Right here at Ohio Stadium, home of the Buckeyes. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. takes it right side for a good game. The Hawkeyes always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. stop right around the 34 so they'll lose about a yard on the design quarterback keeper really one of the very tough places to play in college football and it's no different today there's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. Not every offense uses their tight ends very effectively, but when they do, it can be a nightmare for a defense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. up again on third down this crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team got a man but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage that's a loss of about three not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that Brown is waiting for the snap. Uh, 
He fields it at the 17. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. The Buckeyes right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Just let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. made at about the 49. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Again with the run, he's tackled around the 50-yard line. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From midfield, second down. Set, 10, 20, motion, 10, 20. motion, motion, motion. Hot. Moves up in the pocket. The Hawkeyes running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. Blue 14! Blue 14! Has time. He's in trouble. He sails it long. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the two. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Touchdown, Buckeyes! He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wildcats held the final spot in the top 25. They hope this one will impress the voters. And for Kansas State, they've now won three in a row. The Wildcats squeak by by four. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. The Buckeyes are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. hit before he can go anywhere. That brings up second and one. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Ohio State's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. 
and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. In short yardage situations, it's not a bad idea to give it to the fullback. The big guy just bulldozed ahead for the first. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Gains around six yards on the run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Got it. Tight ends got the first. They'll bring him down at the 32. First down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's a handoff, left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Vickers comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings him second and five. From the 27-yard line, it's second down. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the one. Mike five, Mike five. Feeds it to the back. Touchdown, Iowa. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, time to get you up to date on what's going on in San Mateo. And for Texas State, they've lost two in a row. And for Howell, he was unstoppable. More than 200 yards rushing. The Bears grab a double-digit win. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. Davis gets set to kick this one away. Gets to about the 27-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at about the 41. Scrambling. Brought down right around the 46 yard line. That brings him second and five. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And they make the stop at the 46 yard line. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. And they hit him in the backfield. A 
Ohio State's going to take their first time out of the half. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. Just throws this one away. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Goes right, picked off. Just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From their own 39-yard line. First down. He unloads it. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First down. so hard I don't think anybody wanted to catch it that makes it from the 42 yard line it's second down passes to the back incomplete to go long and does. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Defense in their short yardage package. Tackle made at the two-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Touchdown, Hawkeye. need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice seven-play, 61-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Stewart takes it at the 8. He's taken down at the 31. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's to the 40, and he dives forward. State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Going deep. And he's hit immediately. He's 
going to try and scramble. in the middle he's tackled right around the 20 nothing going on that play well here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket that way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it he heaves it to the end zone he's got it touchdown the extra point to tie this game up And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 70-yard drive. And the result, seven points. 14 apiece. Bellamy has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So at the end of the half, we're deadlocked right now at 14. second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Gross from the six. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He might have a chance. Gets to around the 42. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 49-yard line. it out to about the 43. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for the end of the That makes it second and six. Tackles him for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That makes it 37. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Down! Alert, alert! Lion, lion! Strike to his receiver, no good. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Shoved out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. 
That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings them second and 13. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. And he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 28-yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Got a man. Watch out here. Steps out of bounds at the 42. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. The Hawkeyes quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured earlier. I don't think it looks like he's in that much pain. And I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day's over. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Set! Green 19! Green 19! Gives it left side. They'll get him for a loss. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. the 45-yard line. Second down. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Here's the eighth play of the series. hit before it can go anywhere. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Under heavy pressure. He's hit and taken down. This is the tenth play of this drive. Plenty of time in the pocket. Throws a laser across the middle, and he is drilled at the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. Welcome back to the action fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. After decent pickup. Boy, this poor defense. That is the sixth first down on this drive alone. So they're going to have to bring in some backups because this defense is not going to be able to stay on the field much longer. And you can see the confusion. They're looking over the sidelines to the defensive coordinator 
They need help. They want to try something different because what they're trying right now is not working. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. That brings him second to go. From the five-yard line, second down. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gross fields it at the seven. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Has some daylight. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He's on the run. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down at the 37. That brings us fourth and three. Get to the ball. Get to the ball. Get to the ball. Get to the ball. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he's tackled at the 38. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Iowa is up a score. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Seven-yard line. Ohio State's going to take their first time out of the hat. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. Becoming the 12th man. The crowd is always into it here. Pushed out of bounds at the 43. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. He's taken down at about the 31. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. From the 31-yard line, first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Looks to him again, complete. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 34.
sack. And for Merrick, that was sack number two. This defensive end has really been a lightning rod from the edge of this defense. It seems like every time this quarterback drops back to pass, this defensive end is providing some kind of pressure. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. He wants it all. Can't connect. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 21-14, Hawkeye. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.